Ha! You've decided to wake up. Bed was heavenly. We have here that cafe or lay. And a fresh croissant. You remember? Everything. Ah, uh, they gotta go. Anna's arraying them as soon. I'm not looking like that, you know. Huh? Come on, you've been in town less than, what, 24 hours? You're trying to fix me already. After all this time, and you still haven't learned how to tie a tie mm. properly. Honestly, Robert Scorpio, you're hopeless. I was. Not anymore. I've only been in town two nights. First night, I spent crawling out of a lake. Mm -hmm. And I must say, I definitely prefer Night number two. Hmm. Still no memory of how you got there. Sorry. And thank you. For what? Being a gentleman and sleeping on the couch. After the way you whacked Victor, you deserved the bed. He had it coming. After what you told me he did to Luke and Lucy, and then setting up Anna to take the fall? <sighs> yeah. But I've got to point out something. Victor Cassidyne is... Uh, a Cassidyne. No more explanation needed. The guy should have been hanged years ago, but here he is. All right, I'll be cautious, but I will not back down. Fair enough. But let's not go out of our way to poke the bear, huh? I don't want to lose you again. I'm touched that you still care. I never stopped. Ethan and I turned Monte Carlo upside down looking for you. And instead you found me half drowned in the Quartermain's boathouse. A little damp, but it's still gorgeous. You. Holly, you're, you're remembering something? You have to stop asking me that every five minutes. If I remember something, I'll tell you. Will you? Well, look at you, cross-examining me. Every inch of the district attorney. Bit of a difference, huh? Not really, no. You're still a man of honor. Still devoted to justice. I've got to get to the courthouse. Not without me. Robert, there you are. Thank God. Uh, Holly, do you mind if I borrow Robert for a Thank you, uh, thank you. Uh, you look like you've seen a ghost. More like an acid flashback. Heather Weber? Did you reach him? Valentine is safe, and so is Charlotte. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Walsh presiding. Assassin. The people can present evidence, visual evidence, that Ms. Devane fired the shots that killed Lucy Coe. No objection, Your Honor. There's no evidence there even was a murder. We also have the gun that was found in Ms. Devane's car and the ammunition that was discovered in her home, not to mention the clothes she was wearing at the time of the shooting. Given that the accused has more than adequate means to flee the jurisdiction and the country undetected, we respectfully request they'll be denied. Thank you. Mr. Baldwin? Your Honor, for, for crying out loud, everybody knows that that evidence was planted. That's why I like to file a motion to dismiss. The motion is denied. Just like that? You want me to deny it again? <sighs> it was worth a shot, Your Honor. My client is willing to surrender her passport so that she won't be skipping town. What passport, knowing the WSB? She probably has dozens. All right, I've heard what I need to hear. Ms. Devane, will you please rise? Defendant's history, which includes a long career in law enforcement, both local and international, the latter of which is also based on subterfuge, deceit, and the trading of lives for secrets, as well as the gravity of the charge, the court is left with no other choice. 
Bail is denied. Oh. It's round one. We're gonna fight this and we're gonna win. Damn right. And worst comes to worst, I'm more than ready to bust you out of jail. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Anna. I'm sorry. I know. So am I. Thank you.